welcome to another episode of CJ Discovery. On today's episode, we have Fuzzies! Uh, we have the Siamese cat version because he loves cats. We found this at Meijer for $16.99, and I expect this to take a little bit of time to get through, so we're going to get right into it. We've opened the package and we've gotten everything out here. I'm going to try to let him do most of the work here because ultimately this will be his little cat. It comes with a full color instruction manual. It is a step-by-step -step guide. They also say that there is a video available on the website. The steps seem really easy to follow and are, you know, very like step by step. Puff here, puff there. Okay. Easy to do. Exactly. Now it, ours comes with a package of white fluff and a package of purple fluff, which is significantly smaller. We also have two little balls with a little triangle thing in here some clips, eyes, nose, and a mouth with three little washers inside that we will hopefully not lose this time. Yeah, because on one of our other videos, we lost a nose. We think we lost a nose. I still don't think that the nose came with it, but whatever. It also comes with this, um, which we are actually not going to use because I have a handy dandy spray bottle here. They recommend that you use a 20 ounce bottle or 500 milliliter, I'm sorry, it's a 500 milliliter bottle, um, 16 and a half ounce bottle, like an empty pop bottle that you can fill with warm water and three big squirts of dish soap. I've already prepared that in here. So I expect this to take a little bit of time here to do. The other thing is, is when we're all done, we have to put it in the washer uh, with, they recommend with a load of darks. So, you know, you might want to make sure you have a load of darks all dirty because unfortunately I just did mine and I didn't know we needed a load of darks and I'm traumatized. <sighs> okay, so anyway. All right, I mentioned that there was a full color instruction manual. Here it is, like this. Every page is like this. It is literally steps and it shows you like how big of a piece of fluff to use and what you're doing, and there's lots of language. It also has it in French and Spanish, I guess. I think that's French. It's definitely French. Yeah, that's French. Maybe no Spanish, just French, I guess. The first steps here are putting in the eyes and the nose. So our little cat here, you can see from the box, the face actually is purple. So we're going to use the um, purple fluff here to put in the eyes and nose. I actually don't know if I showed in the instructions, but just in case I didn't, here is the mold. It is styrofoam. It is not hard um, at all. It's all styrofoamy. So this is the form that we're going to use. This is the back. We won't need this until the end, but this is what we're going to push everything into here. So our first step is going to be to take this purple fluff and we're going to put the nose through it and then we're putting it in here. We are going to try to slowly follow the instructions to make sure we don't mess anything up. We are good at messing stuff up. Yeah. Okay, I'm good at messing stuff up. He's good at just watching me mess stuff up. <laughs> All right, the first step in the manual is to do the eyes and the nose. He is going to take a puff of white. I'm sorry, that's purple. He's going to take a puff of purple fuzz. You don't have to use very much. It will show you here in the picture. It's not a very big poop ball here that we're using. <laughs> Remember, this is for the whole doll, so we're not using a ton at any one time. And he is supposed to poke the nose through um, the fab, through the fuzz. Of a cat nose. Yes, you have a cat nose. So the, he's going to do that. I am actually going to pull off two more small balls that we're going to use for the eyes. I have a nose. <laughs> All right, so now you got to do the eyes. Let me hold the nose. I see you. I see you. I see you too. <laughs> now that we have the nose and the eyes prepared, our next step is to push them into here. We're pushing actually from the back into the front, coming out the front, and then we are going to spray water and mush it down and smooth it out really good here, it looks like. So. Uh, let's see if I can move the camera here so that he can do this. We can show him doing it. Oh. Nice. 
finish the first parts of this he looks like this he's all snuggly in his little form here he's all clipped in now what it says to do from here is we're supposed to put it in the washing machine either inside of a closed pillowcase tie it closed or inside of like a laundry bag but you're just supposed to keep the bag tied closed um, they actually say to wash it two times on a hot cycle uh, with dark clothes. It does say that if you don't have a washing machine, what you can do is just spray it really, really, really well with warm soapy water and then put it in the dryer and dry it um, until it's completely dry. It does say if you don't have a dryer for some reason that you can just allow it to air dry. We are going to try it through the washing machine uh, with a load of darks inside of a pillowcase and then we will put it in the dryer from there. And while that is happening, we're going to go hunt some Pokemon. Right? Okay, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. We did a load of laundry. We tried a load of laundry. We did Pokemon hunting. I made dinner. <clears throat> I'm hoping this sucker is dry. I'm not sure. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Here is our pillowcase bag. Notice that we tied it because the instruction said that we should tie it. Can I open it up? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> yes. Okay, go ahead. He said he can. I believe in him. <laughs> I'm believing in you. <laughs> Come on, these people are believing in you. <laughs> Three hours later. Three more hours. And our dog is in the video. Cameo! <laughs> Hi. You want to be in our vlog? Do I have your permission to film you? <laughs> huh? What do you want? <laughs> More food, right? You're like, you're not going to eat the food on the stove? Can I have it? Is that what you're saying? No? It's not what you're saying? <laughs> I'll steal the show. Okay. <laughs> Here he is. He doesn't feel floofy. I'm a little concerned that he's still going to be a little moist, but we're going to carefully pop off the clips. We're kind of out of time here, and he's been in the dryer, and he went through a hot cycle, and so we're, we're going to see how he is here. We're just going to do it carefully in case we need to put him back in again and get him more dry. It does say we can air dry, so hopefully, you know, after we take him out, if he's still just a little damp, we can leave him to air dry. Uh, but, yeah. So, help me start removing clips. Carefully, though. Alright, so I'm going to carefully push this nose back out here in these eyes. 
All right, I can tell you he's still going to need a little bit more drying time, but let's see, I'm popping him out here. Josh hasn't seen him yet. He was trying to peek, but he didn't get a good look. Stop peeking. <laughs> I can only see his feet. All right, close your eyes. I'm going to show the camera first. No peeking. Yeah, now I can't see. All right, you guys tell me if you think he's going to like it. Cha cha. What do you think? Is he going to like it? A little fuzzy? Okay. Turn around. See what you think. Cha cha. <laughs> I kind of feel like he's a little loose in the face here. That seems to be like peeling back. I'm not sure if we should maybe spray that and try to go through this process again. Um, but the rest of him seems pretty good. He will need a little bit more time to dry, I think. Um, it, the instructions also talk about we can go around here and clip. And it says don't worry about making a hole because remember it was all that fuzzy stuff. So you're not actually going to make a hole like you would a regular stuffed animal because he's not cloth filled with stuffing. He is entirely stuffing. So when you clip on him, it's not going to make a hole into him. So it says you can go around and clip off some of this fuzz. I'm not going to worry about doing that just yet um, because I actually want to see about, yeah, see places like this. I'm not sure if he's peeling apart just a little bit. We might need to do that re-moistening stuff and dry him a little bit more. I don't want his face to come off. Yeah. He still looks awesome. He's really cute. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that he is something that I would like want to cuddle and bed with because I think you would end up tearing him apart but for a little craft that you can make he's really cute uh, and he's probably really fun to play with a little more than a lot of stuffed animals maybe I don't know he really is cute for a little craft that you can make uh, he would definitely like sit on a shelf or something like that great I, I don't know that he would have a lot of durability to like just really rough house with or play with my dog is over there sniffing it off the camera here. Now, they had all different types when we were there. They had like a dog and a bear. Um, I, there was a koala and a panda. I really wanted the koala. But my cat fiend here wanted a cat. But I really wanted the koala. He was super cute. So, all right, as always, what do you think? I love it. Is it cute? Is it adorable? I love it. <laughs> I love your profound thinking. I'm a fan. I think it was cute. Uh, I think that it was a fun little craft to do and I like that you get a little thing out of it. Um, I don't know how durable he's going to be. We'll see that over time. But, you know, he's all together and yeah. he's there. I like him. I think I'm going to name him Bob. You can call every single thing Bob. That's because I like Bob. Okay. Wait, so you like Bob the Minion. You like the Bob the Minion. Bob the Tomato, Bob the Minion. All Bobs are good. Bob's awesome. Bob right, the Builder. Finish. I don't like Bob the Builder. Wait a minute, maybe. He's okay. Thank you for joining us on this episode of CJ Discovery. Please be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed this. Also, we would love it if you would leave a comment, any ideas, things that you would like us to do. I'm being imitated by my son. Anything that you would like us to do, any ideas that you have, any thoughts that you have on this video, we'd love to hear from you. We would also love it if you subscribe. We like to put out videos like this on a semi-regular basis. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe putting out some different videos now that my little bitty boy here is not so little bitty anymore. But we'll see. I think we'll always do these types of videos. Maybe always is a very long time. We'll, we'll keep doing these for a while. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.